If you haven't ever considered Greenville, South Carolina as a city steeped in an arts culture, it's about time you did. The city of Greenville, located in the upstate of South Carolina, has a thriving arts community, whether in the visual arts, music, and even dance and theater. Now one of the top 100 arts small towns in the United States, downtown Greenville has come a long way from its humble beginnings. In the 1960s, downtown Greenville was a deteriorated area with little hope until city leaders began envisioning a downtown renewal project where art was in the forefront. Through the 1990s, Greenville continued to strengthen its public and private partnerships to create strong anchors throughout downtown. The city's initiative to invest in its struggling urban center at a time when such revitalization was unpopular not only encouraged private investment, but also eventually received recognition all across the United States. In September, I had the opportunity to go to Art in the Park, which annually draws renowned regional artists and thousands of onlookers to Greenville's Main Street for a weekend of exhibits and demonstrations. During Art in the Park, Liz Daily Designs was welcoming visitors of all types, as it is one such gallery that has helped pave the way in downtown Greenville's transition under the leadership of owner Liz Daily Karibsky. Ashley Ruff, a local photographer and teacher at Liz Daily Designs Studios, was on hand to speak more about the gallery, her own art, and the ways in which Greenville has played a part in her story. When I was um, probably early, like three, four, or five, when I was over at my grandparents' house, I used to always draw on their little carbon paper because that was what they loved to give us for some reason. And I would always draw on this little paper and um, give my grandma all these little drawings that I've done and, and always been interested in art. And ever since all these drawings came up from my childhood and from, you know, me drawing things for people in the pews and church in front of me and that kind of thing, my mom and my grandma always told me that I would be an artist. I didn't grow up in Greenville. I, um, grew up in Prosperity, which is a little over an hour from here, um, and I never really saw Greenville as the place I would live necessarily because I was in Rock Hill for like five years. So um, whenever I started realizing my husband was going to be my husband and he was already in Greenville, that's where I just figured I would be. So um, then I made the transition to go to Greenville, and um, immediately I got into the art scene and decided that it was so culturally diverse that it's where I needed to stay, and I just felt at home. Liz actually, I didn't know her for a long time, I just always went into her shop, and I thought it was really cool because it was so funky and eclectic, and there was just some cool stuff there that you couldn't find anywhere else. And so one day I was there and decided, um, found out they had art classes, and so I was like, you know what, you know, me and my mom could just take a jewelry class, you know, no big deal. I went in there, took a jewelry class, and come to find out um, they needed some more teachers. And so I was like, you know, at this stage of my life, I really like to um, do something that's not on the computer because I'm always on the computer with design and photography. So I feel like teaching would be a good opportunity to kind of get my hands on something and to be with other people. So I started asking about being a teacher there, and um, it worked out really well. And so I now I teach jewelry. Um, and some kids classes and hopefully soon some more photography classes there. I find more creativity through teaching other people because they are inspired through what I do and how I handle like a situation and, and kind of put my own spin on it and then in turn like it makes me more creative because I get other others input from what they see as art or, or if they're not if they're stuck in a box then, then I like to push them to the next level so that's what like I get out of teaching because it that pushes me in my work too. So whether you are a lover of art or just exploring it for the first time, it is offered here in Greenville. Liz Daly is quick to point out that her style and the pieces she creates are always evolving. She says every few years as a designer, you have to not just keep up with the Joneses, but go ahead of them. To that end, the painted signs she's posted around the walls, play, create, and learn, serve as constant reminders to keep stretching her creative boundaries.